So let's look at an exam question type uh, that we have on screen. Okay, we presented with this uh, question in your exam, most likely, and it has like eight, eight, eight marks reward. So let's try to read it. A hockey punk on a frozen pod is given an initial velocity of this much. So collecting data, we now have initial velocity of 20 meters per second. Determine the coefficient of friction. Uh, remember, coefficient of friction was denoted mu k. Okay. We don't know. Between the punk and the ice. Assume that the punk only remains on ice. And, and it's light this much. So we now have displacement along x-axis and it's 15, 1, 1, 5. Before it's come to rest, this is a very important part, v final is equal to 0. So this is the data that you have. So you have initial, uh, you have final, you have displacement, and you can choose from your kinematic formulas which one you can use, right? Okay, so I've chose this formula as one that can meet my what I have and what I want to have. So V final, obviously they said it will come to rest. V final is zero. So we have to square it for the markers to see that we know. Okay, and V initial. Initial just given this much of the initial. Let me say I choose this as positive. So we assume that uh, it was given initial was this way. So 20 is also positive, and I have to square it plus 2 of acceleration. We don't know acceleration. There is uh, because they talked about kinetic friction, so there is friction, so there is it's not a constant velocity, so there is acceleration. We don't know. We also know. Um, Displacement along y axis, it is given to be. It assume that it's going this way, it's also positive 115. It's going this way, that's why it was positive. Also, v initial is going this way, that's why it was positive. Okay, you have to show this to your marker which direction you chose as positive, and from here you can work out your acceleration. Acceleration will be negative 20 squared. Uh, let me not forget the brackets all over. I divide by both of these is 2, 1, 1, 5 is equal to acceleration. Hmm, interesting. We now have acceleration. How can we use acceleration for our own good? We can try uh, Newton's second F net is equal to math. Okay. Mass is the mass that you don't know, acceleration, but we do know acceleration. This is acceleration. We put that acceleration here, of which is negative 20 all squared all over 2115. The force, the force that is acting on this thing is friction. Hmm, interesting. We also know other formula that says uh, force kinetic friction is equal to mu k times normal and we just said here the only force acting is force friction so we can just plug this here we'll be fine so we're saying this the force here is only force kinetic friction so we can just take this and because we know it's equal to this and come and put it here but again, just because this thing is on the surface, it's on the flat surface, not inclined. So we know we know that if it's not inclined, the force normal force normal is equal to m g. So instead of force normal, we can just plug this again. So now we have u k on u k. I have a very bad handwriting. M g is equals to m and what we got from the above was negative 20 squared all over 2 uh, 15 
From here we can do something very interesting from now. Because we have M and M, we could just cut it off. Right? Because we want we want mu k or coefficient of friction, we we'll just divide both sides by g and we know g to be oh you know it's 9.8. So we can just divide by 9.8. This thing, this whole thing that you have here, you can just divide by 9.8. So let me just clear this. If we divide by 9.8, obviously what are you going to get? We're going to get mu or coefficient of friction is equal to, I'm just going to write it as it is because I don't want to lose my decimal places when I'm um, I'm doing all this random thing you will do all in your calculation 2.115 Okay, this is all over 9.8 9.8 is negative. So from here you can get your coefficient of friction and if you did your computation very well the correct answer is going to be 0 0.17 Seven five. So remember, it doesn't have units. So you just solve and you you end your eight marks in in your exam, your semester exam, and for only six minutes. It could be quick if I wasn't explaining. Thumbs up if you really enjoyed the video and if it was helpful. And also don't forget to subscribe, share the video to your classmates. Thank you.